Hey, what's up? My name is Rob with two Bs. I'm a 28-year-old actor from Waldorf, Maryland with over 10 years of experience in the entertainment field, and I would love to be one of your Carnival Cruise activity hosts. I also have a bachelor's degree in communications from Salisbury University where I spent all four years as a member of our student organization of activities planning, or so for short, and the last two years I spent as an MC for every music and comedy event. I'm talking, we had guests from Tim Meadows to Tiffany Haddish, and even the late Mac Miller. At one point, my friends and I even got together and made a campus television show that has a quarter million views on YouTube. Why is there so much baby powder and oregano on the table? Do you think they have a baby? Maybe they're an alternative family. Oh, That's definitely not oregano. Aww. After college, I moved to Los Angeles, where I started doing stand-up comedy. Hey, how you guys doing? I got intermediate level improv training from LA's famous Groundling School of Improv and was even cast in a few independent movies and television shows, the most recent being The CW's Hypnotize Me. But it me is this? very rude to yell when in the presence of a lady. Yes, it is. <laughs> May I? Your Majesty, yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. I want to hear I'm this. I'm sorry. She is yelling very loudly, and it's hurting my ears. Move him far away. Can I move him? Uh, Your Majesty, I am, I am, I am the Queen's hand. Come, come back, come back here, come back here. Uh, you see, I said, can you, but what I meant to say was, move him. <laughs> move him. <laughs> then after that, I started a mildly successful Instagram news show that would comedically take some of the more confusing news stories and turn them into entertaining and non-threatening news pieces that anyone could understand. So there's a teenager in Maryland that just got arrested for planning to shoot up her school after her father read it in her diary and then reported her. Proving first and foremost that that man really wanted something. Yeah, I'm gonna catch this doing something. Then after a year of doing an episode of that a day, I decided to move back to Maryland to lead a partially improv but highly interactive children's pirate show. There, I got to put my improv skills to the test and command the attention of children and adults as I sent them through an hour-long pirate adventure, mostly focusing on constantly raising the energy level and also kind of focusing on making sure every single person felt personally comfortable stepping out of their comfort zone to, you know, potentially look ridiculous while playing pirate with a group of strangers. Currently, I'm still doing the pirate show and I've even added an all adult party cruise where I host, bartend, and lead party dances like line dances, just to make sure there's never a dull moment on the seven seas when you're hanging out with Rob with two Bs. Unfortunately, I only have like random two second clips or pictures from the pirate show. So I decided for my audition, I'm just gonna recreate my intros to give you a full feel of my stage presence and the energy that I bring to all my events. And action! <laughs> this audition is um, a cut from my opening monologue on the children's pirate show. I hope you enjoy. All right, welcome aboard the Dakinir. My name is Captain Black Duck, but that is Captain to all of you. Do I make myself clear? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I said, do I make myself clear? Thank you. All right, now here aboard the Dakinir, we are all pirates, and pirates do say arg. So can I get a great big arg on three? One, two, three. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. All right, perfect. Now we got four rules aboard this ship. The first and most important rule is, does everyone see that man up there? That is a shipmaster. If anything is to go wrong aboard this ship, you are to listen to him and only him. If he says jump, you jump. If he says stop, what is it you say? What? No, you say hammer time. Hey, <laughs> duh. Yeah, we would have also taken collaborate and listen. Anyway, um, rule number two, I think all you pirates keep your arms, legs, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes inside the boat at all times. And do you know why? Exactly, you see. It's because these are shark-infested waters, little pirates. You see, if any of you pirates were to stick so much as one limb outside of the rail, a shark just might jump up and bite off your limb. And, and you don't want that, do you? Yeah. 
neither do we. That's a lot of paperwork. All right, cool. Rule number three, there's to be absolutely no smoking on this vessel, and that's right. I'm looking directly at you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw you smoking a stogie on the dock before you came on here. Anyway, lock it up because we just got a new keg of gunpowder below deck and so much is sparking one march could blow us all to smithereens. And that is a bad thing. All right, for my fourth and final rule, I'm actually gonna need a brave pirate volunteer. Would anyone like to be my brave pirate volunteer? Perfect, you, come on up. That's uh, an introduction. I'm gonna put a life vest on the child, but that is in uh, the opening monologue for the pirate show. <laughs>